All right, what's going on, YouTube? This is Joe McFly hitting you up with a reaction video to Patrick Corbin saying no to the Yankees and saying yes to the Nats. Basically, he's saying yes to money, right? So let's talk right here. Let's let a couple of people come in right now because I know they've been receiving some notifications. It's all right. Dirt off your shoulders. Dirt off your shoulders. It's all good. There's a difference between upstate New York and NYC. And the dude was from upstate New York. Those dudes up there think a little different. So it's okay. It's okay. Uh, I'm going to let some people come in here real quick. Let's see. What's good? What's good? What's good? How you guys doing? Pinstripe strong, right? <laughs> oh, shit. I got to share this link real quick on my uh, my Twitter, right? Because, hello. That's what I kind of have to do. Put it up there. But how's everybody doing today? Yeah, I mean... Patrick Corbin, I just just in case you guys did not know, Yankees' number one free agent uh, option or number one free agent target, uh, pitching wise, was Patrick Corbin. Was I say was because he actually signed a and if you guys see my eye, a freaking I slept with my contacts and it was really bad. So you guys look at it. You know, it looks really, it looks so weird. I'm done with contacts, bro. I think I'm gonna just get LASIK surgery. But um, basically, yeah, that should look weird. <laughs> basically, he ended up signing a um, a six year, hundred and forty million dollar deal to sign with the Nationals, the Nats. So, um, they over. I mean, I don't want to say overpaid, right? I don't like using that word because I feel like they felt like that's what they needed to do to get him. Yankees offered in the neighborhood of five years, a hundred million dollars, and but they weren't going anywhere near six-year deals. The only people that they had offered six-year deals to have been CeCe Sabathia, Mike Musina, and Masahiro Tanaka, and those are all three very good pitchers and very good contracts for the Yankees. I, do, you know, if they're if they understand what they're doing there, I completely understand why they did not give that contract. So. I don't blame them um, if they don't feel like he's a six-year guy. You know, they know more than me, right? So they would be able to, you know, to see, okay, should I do, should we do five years? Should we do six years? Should we do, you know, whatever we should do here. Um, hold on. Let me share this damn link, right? Because... I got to put this up. But it opens up the door for a couple of things. Uh, what will the Yankees do now? Right? Because that's kind of important. What will the Yankees do now? Um, they still have needs. They, uh, they're, they need to address one more starting pitcher. Um, my bad. I'm always trying to see what's going what's going on here. Oh, the Mets going out to Raw. The Mets are making moves, man. The Mets are making moves. They just announced, in case you don't know, they, they announced um, uh, Robertson Cano, the trade, and Edwin Diaz trade. So uh, it's good for them, but we're worrying about Yankees here, right? So let's see here. Hold on a second. What's up? What's up? What's up? Let me let me do this actually. Right here. Okay. All right. So I mean, what do you what do you guys think? Were the Yankees wrong for not going after Patrick Corbin hard like that and not giving him the extra year? I'll give you my opinion in a second. I think that the Yankees were right. Um, look, they got to stick to your guns, man. I'm going to trust Cashman and what he thinks. Um, and 
what the evaluators think and things like that. So I'm not going to come on here and say bash Patrick Corbin and say, oh, Patrick Corbin, you, you freaking suck or you're weak. It's a yeah, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to say any any of that because at the end of the day, he he's he got to make as men, as much money for himself as possible. He got to make as much money for his family as possible. So can you blame him? No way. And I can't say it's an overpay. I can't say anything like that because it's at the market. That's just what it is. That's just what the market is. So that's just what it, that's just where it's at. He was painted this year as being the number one top free agent uh, pitcher, and you know he's being paid that way. Uh, you Darvish last year, he came in. He was uh, the number one target free agent pitcher or whatever it is and then now you're seeing this uh you know he got paid the most last year so that's just what it is um it's just the cost of doing business but the yankees are going to pivot pivot now uh the question is where is, where is it that they're going to pivot what is it that they're going to do from here and um how do they react to the signing last year, the Yankees missed out on the Yankees missed out on a free agent. Who was it? Who was it that we missed out on last year? I forgot who it was. Forgot who it was. We missed out, and then we ended up getting Giancarlo Stanton. I was like, Whoa, um, what the hell happened there? So we'll see here. Um, let me just retweet this. So my thing is just that there's a lot of rumors going around as to what will happen. Um, we're going to see here. Y'all going to have to give me a quick second. If you don't mind, of course. I got to tweet this link so everybody can be able to come in. All right. So yeah, where where is it that the Yankees go from here? What's the what's the actual direction? Obviously, they need to be able to get a, a pitcher. It says that the Yankees are actually focusing on getting J. Uh, Hap, J. A. Hap, and they're trying to also acquire uh, or uh, acquire Avaldi. So my my thought on it is is that I personally don't want Avaldi. I don't, and I know I understand what he did last year in the playoffs. The guy had two shoulder no two elbow surgeries and um while he's a great makeup guy what the fuck man? this shit is pissing me off let me turn with the sound on this while he's a great makeup guy and he's a great guy in the clubhouse from what i hear and you know the guy's not he's unflappable really i just i don't know if i want to and he's younger he's younger right i don't know if i want to commit years like that and money like that to somebody that's been injury. Uh, I don't want to say injury prone, but he's just been um, the injury bug has hit him quite a bit. Let's just put it like that. And last year, with the way that his how will his arm react after year of surgery, and then use the way that he was using the playoffs, how will his arm react the next year? Do you guys want to be around for that? I don't know. I, I kind of don't, right? Because what if what if we're stuck with the damaged goods? The Red Sox got the little freaking the good juices out of him, and then now we're, we're stuck with the damaged goods. I don't I don't want that. I mean, give me a break. But uh, let's see. As far as Hap, I mean, I like Hap because he you know he was here. He knows how to win in the AL East. But I think that, I don't know, man. I don't know what you guys are feeling. I think the Yankees should go after bigger. I mean, what do you guys think? Like. Shouldn't we go after something bigger, better, like to put straight at the top of the rotation and just be like, yo, let's go, man. We hit a play. Let's go. And that brings me to boom. We could go out there. Let's get, we could get a Trevor Bauer. We can get, and I love Trevor Bauer's like attitude. I don't know why. I've been following him on, on Twitter recently and the way he talks and stuff like that. He's just very practical. He's not emotional. I like that. You know what I mean? Um, Kluber, like Kluber too, a little bit older. You're going to have to give up Carrasco. I mean, go to Cleveland. Try to see if you can get something from Cleveland. Maybe you could go out there. 
Uh, some people were talking about, oh, but what are we going to do? We're going to go ahead and how are we going to acquire them? What are we going to do? We're going to give up Andujar to be able to do it? I don't know. But at this point in time, I think that instead of going for a back of the rotation piece to shore that kind of part up and, you know, Evaldi is kind of like a number four and then you got um Hap, which is a number four. Bro, give me a freaking number one, man. Give me a number one. Give me a number two. Let's put them up to the top of the rotation and let's go. That's what we need. I feel like that's what we got to do. I don't know if that's the, the, the route Cashman's going to go. We'll see. Um, I mean, in other news, like things like uh, apparently the Yankees and the Brewers and also the Yankees and the Padres have been talking about a trade for Sonny Gray. So that's, you know, whatever. Um, get Sonny Gray out of here. Whatever we get for him is, you know, a cherry on top, really. So we'll see. We'll see there how that market develops. And then that's cool. But I, I think that something like I, I want something at the top of the rotation, man. I want something that can be able to solidify the top to be like, yo, this, this is the pitching, um, the pitching staff that you're going to fear coming in. You got Severino, you got the uh, another top guy, you got Paxson. After that, you got you know, then you got CC number five, then you got Tanaka number four, who's nails in the playoffs. Then you got CC number five. That's what I want. You know what I mean? Um, I know some some people talking about Dallas Keuchel and things like that. I don't know. I kind of, kind of want to stay away from Dallas Keuchel. Uh, right now, we'll see from there. But I don't know. What do you What do you guys think in terms of moves for Cashman? Um, I think the Yankees may still go big, and you know, try to get somebody. I mean, there's people on Twitter. I don't understand this app, bro. Like, some people just need to delete this app. Yo, they're talking about like, yo, the Yankees are freaking cheap. Oh my god, look how cheap they are. They're so freaking cheap. Chief, what are you talking about? They offered this guy who had basically his career year last year, and I'm not going to disparage him because I wanted him, right? They offered him five years, $100 million, okay? And they said, we're not going more years than that, all right? Maybe if they would have offered 5125 maybe he would have signed with the Yankees instead of the Nationals. I don't know, but maybe he was all about getting the money. I don't know. Um, you know, but you got... You got people out there. You got top of the rotation pitchers out there on the trade market. You got a Kluber. You got Carrasco. Kluber would save you money so you could actually go out there and go get other things. You know, you got Madison Bumgarner who would actually do the same thing. I like those two guys. You know what I mean? Proven number ones that have done it before. Um, Cy Young Award, you know, it, that's who that's who I would that's who I would kind of target. The other kind of person, you know, that you have out there, Carrasco, I love him in the playoffs. Go after a Carrasco, um, you know those kind of those kind of you know top of the rotation guys. I think the Yankees should try to target to be able to um, to do it and bring them into New York. But um, what do you guys think? And I'm a, I guess I'm gonna open it up for questions in a bit because I kind of wanted to get that shit out. And Corbin, all right, any man that doesn't choose to chop cheese and Tim's and the Yankee fitted. For somewhere else, I don't know. I got to question your judgment, man. You got freaking, I mean, look at Cano. Look how happy Cano was to come back and eating his freaking chimichurri, all right? He's coming back to, uh, you know, to do that. So he's happy uh, for that. But uh, the fact of the matter is that you can't, as a Yankee fan, you can't be upset if Corbin decided to go for the money. You can't be upset about that. So, you know, it is what it is. So I think that... Um, I think that the Yankees right now just need to kind of worry about, you know, kind of shoring up what he's supposed to do, um, uh, what they're supposed to do right now. And I think Cashman has some stuff up his sleeve uh, as to uh, what he's going to do. Apparently, he met with Bryce Harper. Yankees flew out to Vegas to meet Bryce Harper. But yet, every freaking reporter saying that the Yankees have no interest in Bryce Harper. Bullshit, bro. Yankees are not going to fly all the way out there to meet Bryce Harper for, oh, due diligence. Come on, get out of here. You do that at the winter meetings if you want to do due diligence. You know what I mean? You just, oh, I just touched base with Scott Boring. Uh, but, you know, they're they're obviously somehow some way interested in, the, in that. But the question is, do we go after Machado? Do we – who do we trade – do you trade Andujar to acquire more pitching to uh, top of the rotation pitching? Do you kind of shore up the back of the rotation? Uh, do you kind of go as your number one as James Paxson and also 
uh, Severino or do you want Paxton to be your number three? Paxton is the number three? It's like, okay, you know what I mean? We're doing something here. But, um, you know, I'm with that. Uh, I'm with – you, you want to know what I'm with? I'm with give me Machado, give me freaking Harper, <laughs> give me all these guys, you know, sign, you know, trade for – for um for Corey Kluber or Madison Bumgarner and that's it. Let's go. Give me Adam Adovino. Put him in the bullpen. If if he's healthy, get me Andrew Miller. Put him in the bullpen. Do all that. That's what I'm talking about. That to me, boom. Seal it up. All right, you're gonna lick the envelope, and then you're gonna seal it up. You're gonna put it in the mailbox and mail it in as a great off season. That's it. That's what I'm. That's what I'm good for. But all right, let's let's see right now. Let me just take a. Let's see what you guys are talking about right here. Let me just pop out the chat and see what's up. I've been gone live in a while, and I haven't talked to some of you guys in a while. So you guys already know. Uh, where are you guys at? Oh my god! Wow, Man, you guys having full fledged conversations in here already. All right, hey Sophia. Um, Severino and Bauer one two punch. Yes, yes, I like that. Uh, he will eventually no, get used to. Hey, all right, hate it when this girl does that. Shit. All right, let's see. So, we have no yeah, Kaiku. No I agree. All right, so we have, go play with Noah. No, why are you with all right, so we have Quinn's loss. I agree, it is Corbin's loss. I mean. It is what it is. The Nationals don't win, guys. The Nationals don't win. And don't forget, guys, leave a like on the video. It does help out all the time. More people see the video. It gets out there a lot more and all that stuff. So also don't mind my freaking eye right now. I got to take freaking drops. I slept with my freaking contacts. I can't do this shit anymore, bro. I'm, let me just get the freaking surgery. Here we go. All right, here we go. Here's the first one. I was waiting for this. Hal Steinbrenner is unbelievably cheap. Oh, my God. Jeez. Unbelievably cheap. You know that he took on a $300 million contract last season, right, when he didn't have to. I mean, I, I jeez, man. There's the some people say, like, seriously. We need Hap or uh, check with Cleveland. Okay. I think that we should check with Cleveland with their starters, kind of revisit that first, see what we can be able to do first, and then kind of circle back around with Hap. So we'll see with that. I would love Matt Bum. I don't think the Giants are going to trade him. I kind of, I'm kind of on the fence about that, or they're on the fence about that. I think I would love Matt Bum, but uh, Kichuki, I don't know that. I don't know enough about that guy, so I can't really talk about that Japanese pitcher. Uh, Boston sucks. Well, they won the championship, but I guess they do suck. Yes, they do. Um, Yanks were smart. Okay, there's somebody that kind of agrees with the move of kind of passing on uh, Patrick Corbin and not going more years. Sonny Gray is MVP. Okay. Don't think we're cheap. We're just being smart how we spend money. Yes. Yankees will not sign Harper and Machado. All right. All right. Maybe. Mitigator. All right. Um, but he had to accept that. He would be slightly under the luxury tax, um, which would mean that with cheapo. Here we go. Cheapo how, right? He's so cheap. Uh, we wouldn't be able to acquire even more players. All right, I'm, I'm going to address this cheap Steinbrenner shit, right? So first of all, I'll say this. If the Yankees, you know, if you want to say cheap, cheap is relative, right? Because then you're looking at it like, oh, he's being cheap because he's not spending, he's not overpaying for certain players, if you're saying that. I got to see the full offseason before I say anything, right? Yankees have been trying to get under this luxury tax to reset it, right? You're in freaking New York. You're in New York. You got a reset luxury tax. You did not pay it for the first time ever in the history of the luxury tax. And now you have the ability to go out there and spend. You got two 26-year-old superstars out there. You have, I, I mean, you have a chance with this core of a team to win a championship, plural, championships. So, is this the time to invest in the team? This is the time to invest in the team. I mean, it's now or never, really. So let, let, let's see what happens there. I don't think that the Yankees should really ha letting this freaking luxury tax kind of hamper them. Like, that's it. Just run right through that shit, man. So, um, okay, let's see. What do we have? And like for Joe's, what's up, cat? 
How you doing? Trade Florian for the ground. The ground's not happening, guys. The Mets are making moves. The Mets are making moves to try to compete next year. The ground is not happening. Hap, Carrasco, Evaldi. Yeah, I mean, any one of those pay. I don't want Keiko. Don't want Keiko. And Evaldi, I don't want Evaldi either. Have any of the, those other pitchers I'm with, Syndergaard is not happening. The Mets and the Yankees are not trading. I don't understand why people cannot understand that. The Yankees and the Red Sox will not make big-time trades. The Yankees and the Mets will not make big-time trades. You just need to understand that. It just won't happen. Um, We should get Evaldi to ruin this dynasty. What dynasty? I, they don't have a dynasty. What the hell? I'd sign Evaldi. He's the best pitcher left. Oh, God. No. Maybe we wait for sale. No. The time to win is now. This whole waiting shit. I'm tired of waiting. I don't want to wait anymore. Um, I'm going to say the Yankees didn't get Corbin. Um. Uh, but I'm not upset they didn't offer six years. Six years. I, I, that's kind of how I feel. Uh, I kind of I, I wish that he would have got him, uh, but they didn't. So it is what it is. Like, what are we gonna do? I don't understand why everybody wants to trade Anduhar. Um, I don't think everybody wants to trade Anduhar, but I think it's more of. I think it is more of, and I'm trying to see here. I'm also taking a look at my Twitter to make sure I'm not missing any kind of news or anything. All right. So, yeah, I mean, I, I don't think that it's. Um, let's see. It's open. Um, what? If you're signing, see, Hap can, you signing a Hap will, can do a couple of things for you. You know, he's a more inexpensive. He's, he's cheaper because he gives you the ability to, um, to spend more in other areas, but I kind of don't want to go that route. Right. Right now. Not yet. Right. I kind of, I kind of want to go. A different route. Um, I kind of want to go a different route. So, with that, I wouldn't be surprised if the Yankees end up empty handed this free agency. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, here goes the panic crew. Jesus. Yeah, I think, I think Hap should be there, right? The Yankees should kind of have Hap there, but we should kind of look at. Hap as a situation where it's like, you know, we look at Hap as a situation where it's like, okay, we tried to get a free uh, a free agent pitcher. Didn't work out with Corbin. We tried to acquire a, a top of the rotation starting pitcher one, two, and three times. The prices were not to our liking. But you know what? Now, okay, let's go back with Hap, okay? He's kind of like the, the safety net situation, you know, and things like that. That's kind of what the Phillies are doing. If you look at what the Phillies are doing now, and Hap is in their radar too, the 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 Phillies are like, okay, we're going to go after Hap because he's just going to take money. Okay, they didn't work out with Hap. So now let's let's go out and try to acquire. Right now they're trying to reach out to try to see if they can get acquire like a Madison Bumgarner or they're trying to reach out to see if they can be able to acquire like uh you know to the to the Indians trying to see what they can acquire there. So uh we'll see. Joe, I'm excited for these winter meetings. I am too. Start on Sunday. Do we trade Anduhar uh, and some of the farm for Kluver? I'm open to that. I am open to that, honestly. A half should be a last resort. Yep, that's exactly what I said. Astros and the Yankees better tear apart that Red Sox lineup this offseason. I mean I'm I'm just worried about what the Yankees are doing. I don't really care about like the Red Sox and stuff like tearing them apart. Gotta believe it's gonna be uh better for the Yanks. It was it will all come together. Yeah, it'll all come together. I I'm s I don't know. I still think that the Yankees will make a big splash. I'll be surprised if they don't, but I still think that the Yankees will make a big splash. No matter what free agent you sign, the result will be the same, aka Stanton, my uh, 
What? I don't know what. I don't know what the hell you said there. If the World Series logo doesn't have two fall oh man, I heard that somebody told me that. I don't know. That's kind of crazy. Hey Joe, would you rather have Kluber or Bauer? Um, Bauer's younger, right? And I mean, he's pitched well. Um, I, I just keep him away from the drones, right? Uh, Kluber's great too, but he's older. That's the thing. So, but I think Bauer, it would take more to get Bauer than what it would to get Kluber. The Yankees need to go after Evaldi and Hab. So both, you want to have a six-man rotation? I don't want, I don't want Evaldi though. I really don't. Totally agree with you. What do we do with Ellsbury? Do we trade him? Honestly, I don't believe in Ellsbury until they they until he plays. And until he's actually on the 40 man roster, I don't believe in him. Sign Andrew Miller or Britain. Um, if if Miller is if Miller is healthy, like 100% healthy, and he doesn't have any issues, I'm taking Miller, right? Britain is going to cost more money. He really is. He's going to cost a lot more money. I heard the Red Sox might try to get him, as well as David Robertson. Uh, what do you think about the Mets and Cano and Edwin? I think it's uh, I think it's good for them to make, to make some deals, right? Uh, the Mets have been kind of sitting back for a little while now, but it's good for them to be able to make some deals and and do those kind of things. Um, I think that it is good for them. They're taking on some money. That, the way that it's offsetting, it's not bad. Edwin Diaz, finally they get somebody to close out games for them because, you know, their closers were a joke for years. But we'll see. Once people become Mets, they become like... Uh, let me see here. We need Adam Adovino, fuck Miller. How about both? Why not both? Uh, we need to sign D-Rob back. Okay. Do you think the Yankees will get Harper? I think that the Yankees will surprise you this offseason. How about that? Yankees need to sign Adovino. His slider is disgusting. Pitch well in Colorado. Yes. Oh, yeah, one thing here. Um, And I know you were even talking about this. This Corbin deal, obviously, ob we're all Yankee fans, right? So we're more biased toward the Yankees. The, this, this here reminds me of, this Corbin thing reminds me of what my, my uncle told me, right? So my uncle, if you guys don't know, I showed you guys the baseball card before. He used to play. Uh, baseball he used to play for the Angels uh, before and you know he became a prof uh, professional baseball player he told me I used to ask him hey you know why don't you go play for the Yankees bro? like I'm thinking like it was that easy like when I was younger but um, basically he says as soon as they become a professional I stop being a professional I'm doing something I'm doing something I'm talking I'm doing something go over there go over there he said Basically, as soon as he became a professional baseball player, that he stopped becoming a fan. He says, I'm no longer a fan. This is, I am a fan of me. You know what I mean? Because in this situation, you have to kind of think about you. So the whole thing with Corbin, yes, he grew up a Yankee fan, this, that, and the third. It has so, you know, his family, this, you know, everybody was just so happy in, in, his, in his family being a Yankee fan. But the fact of the matter is, the fact of the matter is, you're only once you become a professional baseball player, you are a fan of yourself. And if he's going to do what's best for him and his family, um, if you're going to do what's best for him and his family, that's taking the bigger deal. Okay, so I don't, I'm no longer going to use this whole "oh, he was a Yankee fan" shit anymore. Right? Maybe after they sign. So if they sign after, I'll then say. He's a Yankee fan, you know? Um, but at this point in time, there is no, you know, we're, we're always going to say we're Yankee fans, right? Or we're baseball fans, or this person's a Red Sox fan, or this person. But the fact is, once you become a pro, you go where the money's at, B. That's just where it's at. The, you go where the money's at, because you got to take care of your family. So... Do, do I blame him for going to the Nationals for six years, 140 million? 
I mean, you're going to take a $40 million pay cut to be in New York and you never played there before? Come on. That's not happening. Nobody's doing that. You're not doing that. Nobody's doing that. So, um, you know, happy for him or whatever, but let's move on to the next. Um, you know, maybe if the money's close, maybe then you'll be like, oh, man, I grew up a Yankee fan. I would love to be a Yankee fan. Fine. If the money's close. But it's about the money being close. And if the money's not close, then you're going to where they give you the most money. I don't care if you're playing for freaking for, for, for the worst team in, in the majors, you know? That's just what it is. And then you just hope that you get traded later. Um, yeah, his family is probably upset. His family probably blames the Yankees. So his family's like, man, this guy grew up a Yankee fan. Like, you got to look at it from the Yan Yankee fan perspective. I mean, from the, uh, the family perspective. We want that, you know, this is what the market is saying. They're, they're probably saying this is what the market's saying. He grew up a Yankee fan. You guys are talking about you coveting him, but yet you don't want to pay him that market price. Then you know what? Oh, we would have loved for him to be a Yankee, but go with your money. You know what I mean? That's just what it is. They're all going to be Nationals fans now, without a doubt. Um, also, would you bring back Montgomery? Hell yeah, bring back Montgomery. That's what I'm looking forward to. So we trade for somebody, right? Put him at the top of the rotation. So now we have a five of, um, we got a five of Severino, you know, a blank number one or one A starter up there with him. Um, then we have Paxson, then we have Tanaka, then we have CeCe. Middle of the season, you know how CeCe is. You got to give him that nice little respite, right? That little rest, that, that time on the DL to, you know, drain out his knee and do all of that stuff, that maintenance on his knee. Boom, enter Montgomery. Put Montgomery in there. Now we're switching our starts, giving CeCe extra day starts, bringing in Montgomery, things like that. So that's what I see. I'm not trading Mon Montgomery. I'm not trading. Montgomery, I'm keeping there. I just like his demeanor and, and all of that stuff. So Montgomery's the guy for me. Um, I fuck Machado, all you uh, 2017 postseason bandwagoners want him. Okay. All right. Well, I want Machado. I'm not a 2017 bandwagoner, so I don't, I don't get that mentality. But you're entitled to your opinion. Whatever. Everybody's forgetting about Monty. I don't know why. Guys, I need you guys to go play over there. Okay, don't play here because I'm doing something. Can you go over there? Go. Thank you. Don't sleep on Chance Adams. I will. I will sleep on Chance Adams. Um, I want Bryce. Kluber is the only guy I trade Anduhar for and Carrasco. I trade Carrasco for him. And I'll also trade... Um, yeah, I'll trade Carrasco and, uh, and I'll also trade for Bauer, you know? Quick question. Why do the Yankees sign every Red Sox player in free agency? I don't know. Um, I don't want to say that it doesn't always work out because Wade Box did, and I think that Roger Clemens kind of did. Noah, I talked to you, right? I said go over there. Why are you here? Sophia, let him go. Michelle, can you keep them over there, please? Have you lost weight? Well, I've been working out a bit, so <laughs> I've been doing a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Thank you. Chronic back issues. I would, yeah, you're right about that. You're right about that, driving the back issues and him being hurt and things like that. That is a problem. Kluber has pitched 20, uh, 200 innings straight for five years. Not very concerned. Okay, that's that's another good point, too. That's, a, that's hey, you guys are bringing valid points today. Uh, what about Gio Gonzalez? He looks like Gio Gonzalez, Nathan Avaldi's, like those kind of guys. I feel like those are like, those are like, you know, I need to explore top pitching, like top of the rotation. Like I'm coming into your city. We're taking two games with my top starters type pitching. That's what I want. I'm starting off a series. These are my top two pitchers. We're taking two games. That's what I want. Uh, Machado or Harper? Both. Fuck that shit. Both. <laughs> um, I like them both. The Corbin deal will bite the Nats. And look, I, 
I don't care anymore. I don't care about Corbin. I don't care about national. I don't care about none of that anymore. Corbin's gone. Like, I'm not even thinking about him anymore. That's it. Let's move on to the next. I want um, an ace, not a number three. That's that's what I've been saying, Peter. That's definitely your your spot on with that. Um, Manny Evaldi, Ottavino, great pickups. I would probably add to that if you're gonna do it. I'm not really too in love with Evaldi, but if you're gonna do that, fine. But I would probably go with a. Um, I would probably also add a Daniel Murphy to that. Uh, the first base situation, which I think is the last situation that the Yankees would probably address. That that is, I want a left-handed bat at first base. And I don't know what's going on with Bird. I don't really buy into that. And I can't go into another season with this shit. I just can't. Uh, Steve Pierce is going to tee off on Paxton. Okay, cool. Um, I agree with top pitching. What happened to Charlie Morton? I don't know. He's another position. He's one of those guys, too. He, you you could lump Charlie Morton into that situation, too, with those other other guys that you would want to that you would want to get. Um, you think that the Yankees will overpay for Harper? Uh, see, there's no such thing. To me, there's no such thing as overpay. You got to tell me what the market is. If the market is everybody's offering, let's just say $200 million, and the Yankees come out and, and give them $300 million, then yes, that's an overpay, right? Because what the hell are you doing? You're bidding against yourself now. But if, you know, if the market's at $300 million and you give them 310 that's not an overpay. That's just what it is. You think that the Yankees will, um, let me see here. I just read that. Bryce Morton, oh shit, Daniel Murphy, short term. Okay, I mean you could go that way. Evaldi looked nasty in the playoffs. He did, but the problem is I don't know about his arm and him coming off of an injury season and then going into a new season after him recovering from surgery. I don't know. You know what I mean? I kind of wanna, I kind of wanna, like, kind of skip that because I'm scared he might get injured. That's the only thing I'm scared. Like with Evaldi, listen. He was in New York. I thought – he didn't pitch great, great, right? But I thought with Evaldi, good, the good thing about him is that he's not afraid of the big stage. I love how he kind of rises a big moment. You know, he's not afraid of that. I like his makeup in the clubhouse too. He's not going to be a guy who's going to get you in trouble, you know, anything like that. He's a very unassuming guy. I like him. You know what I mean? He's been here. I like Evaldi. But if I'm – I'm just worried. I'm just worried about the arm, man. That's it. Like, and the usage in the playoffs, that's the only thing I'm kind of worried about, man. But if that checks out, if medicals check out, if he's good, if he still feels strong, because he throws really hard, guys. He throws really freaking hard. And if you're going to have a guy like that, like you want to, you know, like if you invest years and money into this guy and he gets hurt, you're going to be asked out. I don't want Votto. Don't want Votto. I, I just seen the first Votto rumor. Don't want Votto. Yankees are going to wait for Nola Arenado next year, possibly. But, you know, he's older. He's older. You're not on the Murphy train? Okay. I think, but again, those are like last resort guys. Because I feel like those guys will be there, like, later on in the offseason, like after the winter meetings, after the big guys are off the board. We won 100 games. Oh, wow. Shit, man. You guys. Let's get Machado in half. Okay, you see, I I, I like this offseason because the Yankees, Yankee fans, Yankee Twitter, Yankee universe is kind of split on what everybody wants. You know, like everybody wants something different. Not it's not like one consensus. I want th I want that, you know. So um, so that's good. Uh let's see. Sheesh. Guys, if I didn't answer your question, just ask it again because I don't this shit is crazy right now. All right. If if all the changes in mechanics, he did. He did change his mechanics. He's also using that cutter, which the cutter is also not that good for the elbow. But you know, two Tommy John surgeries. Damn. You know what I mean? That's that's the thing I kind of think about too. Joe, if you were the GM, what are your moves right now? Um, if I was the GM, did I do I have unlimited resources? You got to tell me. Do I have? If I have unlimited resources, then I'm going, you know, I'm going for broke. Yeah, I'm going to, I want to feel the best possible team that I can. Okay. Evaldi could be a ticking time bomb. Yep. You're right about that. Why do people want to get rid of Stanton? No, I don't think, I think the Yankees should add to Stanton, not get rid of Stanton. That guy had a down year last year. He was extremely productive. Extremely productive. 
Uh, good thing the Yankee fans don't have a say in who gets signed or traded. Yeah, I mean, look, if Yankee fans had a, had a say in who gets signed or traded, you'd actually see um, Severino would have probably been traded by now. Gary Sanchez, you know, Aaron Judge would have been traded when he struck out like 50% of the time. You know, he's a bomb. Blah, 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 blah. Trust me. Marvin Gonzalez, I like Marvin Gonzalez too. I got to see what his market is looking like because that's a guy that I can see people overpaying for. Who are your top free agents to get? I mean, I I mean, you got to kind of start with the two 26-year-olds, right? Like 26-year-olds don't hit the market. They don't. They don't hit the market, if ever. Uh, I kind of find it funny how people are saying that we're screwed because we didn't sign Corbin. Takes more than one player to make a team. You're right about that. Do you think Machado would be a good grab? Yes, I do. Machado would instantly make the team better. Aaron Hicks would have been traded away if we had a say. That's that's true. Did the Yanks ever say Corbin was high on their list? You know what? I'll tell you what. And the good thing, the the fun thing I love about the off season, the baseball off season, is how you get to a chance to read the tea leaves. Like when you get to know Cashman. You get to hear how he talks about certain players, and you'll know. So the Yankees, it's been reported, yeah, all these reports, blah, 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 Yankees free, number one free agent target. I'm not saying that it wasn't, was Patrick Corbin, right? But when you heard Cashman talk about Corbin, it sounded like, I like him, but I don't love him. I like him, but I'm not in love with him. You know, like, I love his ability, but I love him to a certain extent. You know what I mean? It's kind of like... Uh, you know, that pretty girl, like, yeah, hey, you know what? I'm a, I'll, yeah, maybe I'll, I'm gonna take her on a couple of dates. We're gonna get together, but I don't know about full marriage yet. Like, I don't know. So that's the only thing that I, it kind of felt like you could kind of hear it coming out, uh, the way that he's talking about him. The other thing is just that now you hear the way that he's talking about Manny Machado and the way that he talks about him is like, oh, these things they can't define him, the problems, you know. The mistakes, everybody's allowed to make mistakes. He's still young. You know, those kind of words to me sound like we're considering this guy to give him a chance. We're kind of considering him to give him a chance. Uh, Sonny Gray, you hear him. Oh, yeah, he's out of here. Basically, that's super clear. He's not even trying to let you read the tea leaves. He's just saying, oh, yeah, he's out of here. It's not going to work out. But he's made it clear. Like, so... Um. That's just what it is. Um, I think Sevy is going to go off next season. I think every year for Sevy is, and this is how this is the natural progression for certain pitchers, right? Or for certain just players altogether. Not everybody comes in like gangbusters and just plays well forever, right? You have to learn how to struggle to get better. Okay, you struggle, so when you go through that. In the back of your mind, I went through the struggle already. I got out of it. I went out of it on the other side. If I go through it in the future, now my struggle is shorter. Boom. Because now I have the confidence. Severino, when he had the year, you know, he came up uh, with Greg Bird that same year. I think it was 2015, right? Came up well down the stretch. Did really good. Boom. 2016 happened. What the hell happened to Severino? 2017 happened. Now he's, you know, he had he was great, put it all together, did all that stuff. And also in the playoffs last year, he did not look too good. Come back this season, great first half. Second season, he, you know, second half of the season did not look good at all. It's like, what the hell is suffering? Who's the worst pitcher in baseball? Then, now in the future, he's like, you know what? Boom, I had this situation, made it out. This situation, made it out. This situation, made it out. Now he's going to become the complete pitcher. So when people talk about a pitcher or a player entering their prime, that's how you enter your prime. You have to go through your kind of steps of you struggling, trying to figure it out, trying to figure – then you learn how to become a Major League Baseball player. After you learn how, how to become a Major League Baseball player, boom, you hit your prime. That's when you take off, right? So that's the that's what I think about Severino. I still have so much confidence in Sevi. And that's why I don't I don't lose confidence in Gary Sanchez off of last year. Last year he struggled. Fine. He's supposed to struggle. The guy came up the first year, hit 20 most home runs ever hit by a rookie in that short amount of span. 20 home runs, 22 home runs, whatever it is, in that short span. 
Boom, the next year he comes out looking great, looking crazy. Still questions defensively. Next year he struggles. Now Gary got that in the back of his mind. Damn, this shit is not as easy as what I thought. I struggled. Now he goes into the offseason, gets better. You'll learn a lot more from Gary in this season than what you have in last season. So that's what I want to see. Um... Okay. Well, I'm not playing the what-if game anymore. I mean, that season is done. I don't want to talk about 2017 much. Actually played for playoffs. Do you think that Stanton Sanchez Bird will have a fucking revenge tour? Uh, Stanton, like we're talking about Stanton revenge tour, and he had a pretty okay year. For a down year, he had a pretty okay year, right? I think he's going to be great next year. That's what I think. Sanchez, I have a lot of ability uh I, I have a lot of confidence in, in in his ability bird i think we're gonna see a lot from sanchez defensively this year you already see him talking to podge and things like that so i gotta see this year i'm looking for him defensively and he had a he had a problem with his shoulder man that kind of that can affect you in a lot of different ways plus his arm wasn't even that accurate so you know i just it's not it's not gary sanchez last year bird i don't think so i don't i don't i just i don't i could be wrong i hope to be wrong but i don't have confidence in bird right now sevy yes hell yes hell yes judge too i think judge had a pretty good year don't you he just got hurt who's better judge or bats right now bats yankees better not see boston early or it's vacation time I don't understand what that means. I don't know. That sounds like a corny attempt at a joke. What do you think about Corbin signing with the Nets? Well, I talked about that a little bit earlier, Phil. But basically, I mean, he got to do what's best for his family. So he signed the biggest contract that he had available out there to him. I think that the Yankees did right by not offering a six-year. Uh, I think if the money would have been closer, maybe he would have chose the Yankees. I don't know. But... The fact of the matter is he has to do what's best for his family. That whole fan stuff goes out the window when you're talking dollars. Joe, do you think um, the rotation will get finished before the winter meetings? Um, I do. And if it doesn't, then I think that the ink. Okay, I do think that it will get done by the before the winter meetings. But if it doesn't, then I think that the Yankees will go the trade route to get a starter. But I think we might. they might end up – what it kind of feels like. I don't want that. I want the Yankees to go for the top of the rotation kind of starter. Sevy is an ace. You're smoking uh, uh, Disney. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Severino is a solid number three. That's crazy. Uh, we may possibly not meet each other in the division series against Ron because it's always okay. I want Manny's attitude. Okay. What do you mean on the team or you want, you personally want his attitude? Uh, Stanton was, yeah, you guys attracting stuff in the postseason. What put the boon helmet on? I'm not even, I'm not even home right now. Stanton is why the Yankees didn't beat Boston, they beat themselves. You mean Stan Stanton isn't why? No, the reason why the Yankees did not beat Boston was because they did not they they only had one pitcher go over four innings. That's why they didn't beat Boston. Okay. Uh, how did Andujar get robbed? Rookie of the year? I don't I don't know. I don't know. People wanted to give this guy the rookie of the year before the season started. So that's just basically it. Do we wait for next year's? No. I don't want to wait for next year. I'm trying to do this now. Do you think Harper's a good fit? I think Harper's an excellent fit. I think that left-handed bat at 26 years old would be a great fit, super long-term. He's actually more of a fit than Manny is long-term, if you if you, if you you really want to think about it. So that's the, that's the, that's the way. I think, I think Harper is a better fit. Um, now, you kind of want to see consistency out of Harper, but I got to see. If Machado, if Machado is, if, what? If, if you want Machado, if he's changing his attitude to, I don't, but what's wrong? Okay. The thing about Machado that concerns me is just that the whole, the whole, like kind of fits that he gets on the field, you know what I mean? Where sometimes 
you know, he gets like really upset about certain things and he lets it get out of hand or he's like sliding too hard into certain players in second base or he's like trying to injure certain players. That I don't like. Um, we are looking for long term. We're looking to win now. But yeah, that's that's what you would be doing. You're looking for both. When a contract like that, you're talking, you know, eight to 10 year contract. You're talking about winning now and later. Should the Yankees re-sign Robertson? Um, I think so, but we'll see. I mean, he wasn't too happy with the way that the, um, with the, with the way that the playoff shares were kind of shelled out. So we'll see. We'll see what happens there. Can the Yankees compete next year for the division with the team that they have now? I mean, they won hundred games last year, of course. Why not? Um, I'm talking about his attitude in the postseason. Yeah. I personally think that we should stop finding stop finding pitching and make the ones no. No. I don't agree with that. We need to look for another starting pitcher. Would you consider who do you want? You want Domingo Herman at the you know, like no, that's it. I, I want every every day to for us to have the best ability to win. That's what I want. Would you consider it a failure if the uh, if the Yankees miss out on Corbin, Harper, and Machado? I got to see what else they do. I honestly have to see what else they do. So I can't say I consider it a failure. Uh, what do we do with Gary next season? You play him at catcher. That's very, very simple. That's it. Do you think that the Yankees should have all the – no, I don't, I don't like that. Um – I find it hilarious that people think that the Sox are going to magically win 108 games every year. I mean, they have a pretty good team, but, you know, I mean, everything for them last year, like a lot of things. What are your thoughts on Kutch? I love his patience at the play. He was great, in my opinion. I like Kutch. Um, I don't think that the Yankees are bringing him back, you know, because they probably they – prob they probably won a left-handed bat in there. Guys, stop asking Joe's questions. He seems stressed. I'm not stressed. I'm good. Uh, Bradley. I like Bradley, too. I like Bradley, too. We don't have space for him if we get hyped. Hi, Doggo Daddy. Are you thinking of Daddy? I can take you if you wait five more minutes. No? Okay. All right. All right, Sophia. Machado or Harper? What fits better? Probably, I don't know, for the short term, because of what's happening with Didi Machado, but long term, you're also looking Harper. So they both fit. They both fit. Um, Cashman has not never been shown to be able to trade for pitchers, fix young raw pitchers, or get hidden gems of free agency, which worries me. How long have you been a Yankee fan for, Mr. Coconuts? How long? How long have you been? He's never been able to trade for a starting pitcher, right? I don't, I don't know about that, Chief. Do you like Robbie Ray and Goldschmidt? I do. I do. Yes. Do you like Marwin Gonzalez? I do like Marwin Gonzalez. I think the Yankees got to sign one more starting pitcher, not two. Top four hitters in the Red Sox lineup had career years. How did the Yankees' year go? Judge injured himself, and they still they still won a hundred games. Mob. That as the Didi loss is very heartbreaking. He just got done with a historic season, and boom, missing the second half. Yep. Uh. We should get Bartolo? No. No, thank you. I'm trying to see right now if there's any, any other news before I end the stream and things like that. All right. I don't see anything else. 
I think that they'll probably sign their deal. I mean, they'll t they could take their time. Bryce and Manny can take their time. They have their own market. Hey, can I take your car? You take my car? No, you can't take my car. Josie, you like football? I do. Um, but nothing, nothing like, nothing like baseball. Anyway, guys, so wanted to hop on real quick, kind of talk about everything here, just a reaction to the the Corbin situation. If you guys want to rewatch this again, feel free to do so, and um, leave a like on the video, guys. There's 115 of you guys in here, so leave a like on the video. If you haven't already, make sure you do subscribe to the channel. Follow the official vlog Twitter page, which is uh, at Pinstripe Strong, and the... And the Noah, I'm talking, Noah. What is this? Yes. And make sure you guys follow the um the the vlog. It Jules McFly. If you guys want to follow my personal Instagram and Twitter, it's at Jules McFly. So feel free that you do that. But guys, like I always say. Make sure you guys keep your pinstripes on. Keep them strong. Let's go, Yankees. Any other breaking news, I'll come out and I'll, of course, do another video. And uh, I'm doing my videos every Sunday for whatever news happened in that week, dancing the news and things like that. So definitely watch out for that. If you guys haven't already, look at the last video that I just did. Actually talking about how I would like to get Corbin. But, hey, that didn't work out. But, um, but yeah, guys, pinstripes on, pinstripes strong. Peace. Let's go.